In this video, I'm going to be walking you through our ICNU H&P notebook as well as a, a two-day soap note. So, uh, essentially, your, your ICU notebook is going to be quite different in terms of what type of notes you write, specifically when we're talking about the soap note portion of things, when you have to have these updates. And the reason why is it's going to be problem-based. So, when you're first seeing a patient, this is kind of just more general. Um, so, it's going to look very similar to our other notebooks. It's going to have sections for your uh, all the patient's information, the HPI, review systems, past medical history, social history, family history, meds and allergies. It's going to have a section for your physical exam, your lab labs imaging and your assessment and plan and to do. And we just give you certain reminders, for example, things like your code status, your contact information. Those are things that you never want to forget on any rotation, but especially on an IC rotation, you're going to want to know um, and make sure you ask and never forget to ask those questions. So, and there's certain things kind of built in with each of the templates that kind of give you those reminders based off of the things that you need to know and need to ask. You'll see this looks very different from any of our other notebooks, um, and namely because of our assessment and plan. And so one thing that I found to be very frustrating when I was on my IC rotation was just, it's a totally different way of approaching things, primarily because you're going by body system, whereas before you were going by problem. And so you'll have a section for your neuro, your cardiovascular, poem, your GI system, your renal, ID, heme, and your endocrine. And there may be other sections that you may have that will be additional. We just kind of made the ones that are going to be the most common for every single patient. So with each of these, your overnight events and things like your ins and outs, your exam or your labs, those are all going to be pretty standard compared to our others. But really, we're giving you a lot more room in terms of writing a systemized assessment and plan. These are things you can either fill out before you present, after you present, or kind of a mixture of, uh, of the two, which is what I typically did I would put just very small notes in terms of just remembering what did I want to make sure I brought up in terms of changes on the you know the cardiovascular system I wanted to change this certain drug this day or this is the you know ventilator settings that they were on and what we were going to change and so then when I have you know my five ICU patients that I'm dealing with you know I can kind of flip back and, and remember okay that that was the first patient that I wanted to remember all the different plans when I'm typing up my note and then kind of going back to be able to reference this. And I thought that was always very helpful in terms of staying organized while you're on your ICU rotation. Be sure to check out our website, medicalbasics.com, for more educational resources like our medical ID cards. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and lessons.